Hi, this is Dave Muir from Skyway Software. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate My Clips for Springs customizable code generation, which is available in version 8.6.1. So customizable code generation provides a mechanism for users to customize any of the artifacts that get generated as part of scaffolding or artifact generation. So you can now incorporate your own development standards into the templates or static web files that are part of My Clips for Springs generation. Again, this customization includes all artifacts and all of the front end scaffolding options that you see here. So flipping over to My Clips for Spring, you can see that I already have generated a full functioning CRUD Spring application through My Clips for Spring scaffolding capability. And if we take a look at the runtime map, the scaffolding feature generated the create, read, and update and delete operations for an employee table with Spring MVC and an Adobe Flex front end. But let's say I work for a company that has certain coding or visual standards and every time I scaffold I have to manually go into each file and apply those standards. Well now I can create a customization project, apply those standards once and my company's code will already be there after every scaffold. So for example let's say in the Flex source I need to put some copyright information into this file. So what I need to do is create a new project and find the My Clips for Spring customization project. Give it a name and click finish. And what it, it's doing now is it's copying all the templates and static web files from the plugins for you to go ahead and edit. So to update that flex file I go into the templates folder, find MXML and find the CRUD manage jet and I can go ahead and write my copyright information. Let's say I want to change the visual aspects. Uh, so for example, I want to change the CSS. I can go to the static web content common folder and find the styles.css. I can then go and change to my certain standards. I'll create a background. with my company logo. So now I've uh, customized two files and I want to apply those customizations to the next time I scaffold in my projects. Well for each project I can right click and go to properties and then find the My Eclipse customization preference pane and add the customization project to this project. I can also set this as a workspace preference so every project that I scaffold uses these customizations or I can package my customization up into a jar and ship that out to my developers. So what I'm going to do here is actually re-scaffold to apply these effects and I'll just go to uh, scaffolding and I'll run through this pretty quickly but I'll choose the same things that I chose the first time. So I'm going to choose the employee table from MySQL, choose the package structure that already exists and Spring MVC and Flex and I'll just go ahead and click finish. I'll close these templates. And so you right away you actually notice that the copyright uh, information in my new customized template has been uh, added to my manageemployee.mxml. If we take a look at the CSS file you can see that my customizations are there. And then looking at the runtime map, if I go back to the dashboard, you can see that I'm now with my company standards. So again, all that's uh, all that you need to do is create a new customization project, find the particular template or static web content that you want to customize, and then apply that to a project or your workspace to get those customizations for scaffolding or artifact generation. Appreciate you watching this video. Please take a look online on all the educational material, videos, tutorials, and blogs that we have for more information.